we gonna start with Nikki or are we gonna start with Megan Thee Stallion? I kind of want to get into the background of the whole thing because it's like different rumors flying around that um, their whole beef was started either because Nikki was upset that Meg worked with Cardi B on WAP. Um, Nikki even alluded to Meg um, suggesting that she drink and get an abortion. So I'm kind of wondering like what popped off this feud between them? Because you remember they had that song Hot Girl Summer. Meg was on Nikki's live talking about um, Nikki's like one of her favorite rappers and all this other stuff. So how did they get from there to where they are right now? I, she was trying to get her to drink alcohol when she was pregnant. You think that's that what like, Nikki said? Um, and then, like, I, I don't know. I feel like she probably was trying to get her to drink. I, I don't know their personalities all that great. I would like to think that if Nikki said, you know, I'm pregnant or I'm trying to get pregnant, Meg might have just been like, okay, you know, we ain't got to drink. But Nikki alludes to like, you know, I was either trying to get pregnant or I was pregnant and she was trying to get me to drink. So I'm wondering how true that is. And um, like, is that the basis of their beef or is that just some other made up stuff that Nikki has spun into a narrative as to why she doesn't like Meg? Okay, so we are we just looking at Nicki Minaj's perspective or are we looking at both perspectives for why they fell out? If you can do both, I'm curious because I I don't have a lot of faith in Nicki Minaj's perspective solely, if that makes sense. Damn, everybody's okay. I mean let us know what you all think in the comments. What do you all think they're beefing over? Let us know. Let me shuffle again. I'm a little bit confused. Let's see. Okay, whose perspective are you wanting to hear first, Megan's or Nikki's? I'll be honest, and maybe it's the messy bitch in me. I want to hear Nikki's because I feel like Megan's perspective is going to be the truth. So I want to hear the the mess first, and then the truth. <laughs> I feel like you're a barb. That's why you want to hear it first. No, no. Hit the one if you are a barb, and hit the two if you are a farmer. What are what are Megan and Stallion's fan base called? Farmers. I feel like the barb in you is saying that. I want to say, I don't know. It's either stallions or hot girls. I, I feel like it might be hot girls. So even I the guy call them hot girls. girls. I like hot girls. So hot. Cool you a hot girl. They say a hotties. They call a hottie. Oh, hottie. There we go. Okay, I went that far. <laughs> okay, so if you're a hottie, hit the two. And if you are um, a barb, hit the one. Let us know what you are and what team you are. I, I am. Don't a care. Freak. Yeah, I was gonna I'm say if you don't care. I'm team Kaya. <laughs> I'm team Kaya. Oh, okay. So team Kaya is three. All right. Then. Okay, so we got a lot of twos in here. Um, I'm gonna get into this reading in just a second. Oh, somebody said they're both. Thank you, Whitney G, for letting us know that. Up, oh, sweet integrity says she's a two. Hey, how are you doing? Oh. We got a lot of hotties in here. I'm a Kaya fan, so I'm a three. I'm just letting y'all know. Okay, so from Nicki Minaj's perspective. I have a quick question. Yep. What are Kaya's fans called? Thug Misses and Thug Misters. Okay, I like that. I hope so. Okay, all right. Continue. Because I feel like you were going to say something like food stamp recipients. I wasn't. I was trying to incorporate my neck, my back somewhere in there. So... We're the back layers. There you go. But I like I like thug misses and thug misters. I'm a thug mister. 
Okay. All right. I'll be quiet now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to stop pulling up these little comments in the bottom. All right. Y'all came for the reading. So um, I got the two of spades for Nicki Minaj. So um, they they fell out over a collaboration. Um, and I'm going to ask, is it the collaboration between she and Cardi B? I got a six of clubs. Um, the six of clubs is basically saying that there are some things. I guess it's like Megan. I, I think it's that Megan has some honest she gave her honest opinion about Cardi B, perhaps before she knew Cardi B. And um, Nicki Minaj is, is privy to some of those things that were said. I don't, I don't know. Let me ask: Are, are these are these harmful things? Three of Spades. These are things that can start some shit, um, or it could start conflict, or show that um, Megan Thee Stallion's loyalty. Um, not her, her, yeah, it indicates her loyalty may have been divided. So maybe Megan Thee Stallion had already known Cardi B at the time or something. But they, uh, this is over a collaboration because the two of space is the card for collaboration. And not only that, it's, it's, um, Nicki Minaj having an expectation that she and Megan Thee Stallion would build a friendship with each other is something else that I'm seeing. Um, with the six of clubs clarifying this two of space, this is essentially saying that. Nicki, Min um, Nicki Minaj intuited that she and Megan Thee Stallion would fall out over some some sort of drama. And with the being a three of spades clarifying that six of clubs, this is saying that Nicki Minaj had anxieties, um, a, a lot of anxiety towards collaborating with Megan Thee Stallion despite her wanting to be friends with her and to establish a, a, a working partnership with her. Now, I then asked for more information about uh, Nicki Minaj's um, experiences of Megan Thee Stallion and what, is, um, what this beef is stemming from for Nicki Minaj. And the cards are saying that, um, I got the two of clubs here. So this is saying that they had issues seeing eye to eye with each other, uh, particularly about, um, let me clarify before I talk, Six of Hearts, yeah, particularly about friendship. So even though Nick, Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj wanted uh, to be friends with each other, um, there was honestly, uh, I got the Six of Hearts clarifying it. So this would be that there may have been sort of some sort of passive aggressive tension between the two of them, or there was some hidden jealousy that was manifesting on Nicki Minaj's part. Even though she wanted to be friends with Megan Thee Stallion, the Six of Hearts is saying that there are some uh, feelings that she had um, towards <clears throat> Megan Thee Stallion that are karmic. This is an indicator that in a past lifetime, Nicki Minaj and um, Megan Thee Stallion um, collaborated with one another. That collaboration did not work out very well. And um, there's spillover from that previous lifetime that we're seeing manifest into this one. Um, this Nine of Clubs is here as well. So this is saying that Nicki Minaj was conceptualizing the idea of really loving um, Megan Thee Stallion. Like this is in her mind, she was venerating her. In her mind, she had a positive opinion of this woman despite what her anxieties were, um, despite what her anxieties towards her were essentially uh, telling her, saying to her. Um, and when I say her, I'm, I'm speaking specifically about Nicki Minaj. Now, this Nine of Clubs is also saying that Nicki Minaj, um, because she conceptualizes her relationships um, and people can be ideas in her head, um, it's easy for her to discard those people, especially when she feels like those people no longer serve her. And she felt like everything needed to come to an end anyway. Um, and she felt this early on into getting to know Megan Thee Stallion. I think that she had already determined, hey, this is not someone that I really care for. Um, I, I do really want to like them, but I, I like the idea of them, but getting to know, I like who they represent as an entertainer, not as a person, as I get to know them. Then there's the Seven of Diamonds here indicating that um, 
there are some finance there were some financial challenges that um came up for uh them when they collaborated this could be an indicator that Nicki Minaj spent a lot of money to get that video produced or um, they spent a lot of money to get that song recorded and they're not seeing a return on that investment. Um, this was supposed to be, this song was supposed to make uh, both of them a lot of money if they had continued to collaborate with each other. But I also see that because Nicki Minaj withdrew her interest from the friendship, neither one of them were able to continue supporting the song and that created some financial debt on for Nicki Minaj. So I want to hear what you all have to say about that. Um, again, if you're if you're a hottie, put the peach emoji. If you are a bar, put the pink heart emoji. And um, anytime I say the word tidal wave, that means I want you all to flood our comments with pineapples for Leah. And I want you all to flood. Um, uh, sorry, and I want you all to then flood, uh, what do you call it, the, um, uh, for me, the, the skulls, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, so they're not called the farmers. Um, let's see. Kaya's fans are the thug disciples, I agree with that. Nikki absolutely is a lyricist, do you agree, Leah? But she is the wordsmith. She told Cardi she judged her before she knew her. I can believe that. I can believe that. That's what the reading said. Too damn old to be so childish. Love her though. Yeah, she she. I, I, you think do you think that uh, Nicki Minaj was being childish, Leah? I feel like she was with this response. Um, I think we're gonna get a little bit deeper into that, but kind of like a lot of her antics on social media. I feel like after a certain age and a certain point in your career, you should be above all that. Like, if you're not at my level, you're not worth the response. So for me, it was kind of like being childish and stooping down to that level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Is Nicki Minaj really on snowflake emoji? Facebook user, what does snowflake emoji mean? Like, what is the snowflake emoji representing? Can you break that down for us? Um, what do you all think the snowflake emoji means? Tidal wave. Um, are we going to get into Megan Thee Stallion? I feel like you did such a good job describing Nikki's perspective. And I've got so many more questions that I have to ask that I think maybe we can just save Megan for another time if we feel the need to. Okay. I mean, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to get Megan Thee Stallion's perspective. Okay. Now, I mean, it's pretty much it's, it's, it, it, Megan Thee Stallion's perspective just starts with the Jack of Diamonds. So there's um, this is about sales, the a falling out. She feels like this is a falling out over how much that record that they collaborated on was or was not selling. And when I say tidal wave, it means flood the chat with pineapple emojis for Leah, and skull emojis for me. White horse, booger, sugar, coke. Y'all think Nicki Minaj is on cocaine? Until she says that she's done that, I don't believe it. Now, Leah, we can talk about this offline. But oh. I, don't, I don't, I mean, we can talk more about it on offline, but I'm just saying until she says that, I, I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you all think that Nicki Minaj is on cocaine, hit the snow snowflake. <laughs> yeah, it's a snowflake. And if you feel like Nicki Minaj is completely sober, um, hit the hit the the water droplet emoji because all she drinks is water. I know she likes what is it, cranberries and and pecans or cranberries and almonds together or something like that. But either way, what's going to be our next question? I had wanted to know if she's on any type of substance, but I guess we can discuss that offline then. <laughs> we can see. I mean, she did say that she did Percocet. She had a Percocet. Mm -hmm. 
Because I feel like just pure water, that did not fuel the, the Instagram and the, the Twitter meltdown after the release of his. I don't know nobody that drink water that go on. Uh, I just want to show you. Yeah, just so you all don't think I'm making something up, I did see that she said that. It, it wrote, well, maybe she, I don't know. Well, Rolling Stone reported this, right? So that's the one thing I can say is Rolling Stone did, did report this. And um, you all can see it here. She once was a Percocet addict. She was addicted to perks. Yeah. Um, you all can subscribe to uh, their channel to, uh, so, sorry, subscribe to the magazine to read more about that. But anyway, so uh, we're going to look and see if she's on. Um, we're going to see if she drinks more than water. Let's, let's put it that way. Everybody, y'all get that. Let's see if she drinks more than water. You know, maybe she drinks alcohol. You know, maybe she drinks alcohol. Let's see if it's Nicki Minaj. Does she drink more than water? Got a queen of diamonds. Um. This is an, an indication that she spends a lot of money. Um, it is. It's an indication that she she spends a lot of money, and with this also being the queen of diamonds, um, in regard to her, you know, drinking more than water, you know, potentially drinking wine, or, um, you know. And she spent the, I mean, this Queen of Diamonds is an indicator that 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 her Percocet addiction, for example, um, was very costly for her. And um, it also indicates that she, um, in terms of her value system, um, she 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 appreciates um, you know, drinking more than water. You know what I mean? Um, so this could include alcohol, but like she she likes it. You know, um, I think that she was also promoting Mona Scott Young's Mix Moscato back when Love and Hip Hop Atlanta was hot. You know what I mean? Um, that's something else that I know. Um, I'm gonna draw another card. So we have a nine of clubs, and that nine of clubs, the nine is like a death card. So it's pretty much like the killing of the spirits, the killing of the mind. So, you know, I'm not saying she smoked weed, but I'm just saying, like, let's say you smoke weed and you get a nine of clubs. It indicates that your mind goes off into other realms. It indicates that your mind, like, um, you get lost in daydreaming. You can get lost into deep thought. Um, it's, it's not exactly a card of addiction, right? but the nine of clubs is a card for a counselor. So this could indicate that she has been to therapy um, or she's at least had conversations with a counselor about these things, or she's had to seek out wise counsel due to the fact that her values, the way her value system is set up, right? Um, then we have a queen of spades here. This queen of spades is saying that um, if she drinks more than water, she becomes a bitch. Um, she starts to um, change personalities. And the queen of spades is also the card for self-control. So people will find that if she drinks more than water or um, she takes a Percocet, that it's difficult for her to you know, engage in self-control. Why are you making that face? <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, this queen of space is also saying that it's um, it can be difficult for her to um, be around other people because she can try to control them and tell them what to do. And she can be incredibly bossy. Um, she's probably already a very bossy person, but um, I reform reformatted your question to be more broad. 
But um, in regard to this particular question, it's an indicator that Nicki Minaj is um, able to be a hybrid. She can slide back and forth between a sober persona, a non-sober persona, and these things can happen very rapidly. Then there's a two of hearts here, which is an indication that she um, sometimes she might need to take a drink or sometimes she might need to take a break because she has to deal with um, drama in her relationship. Um, there's a two of hearts here indicating that her relationship does stress her out um, because her partner can be very clingy or her partner usually wants to spend a lot of time with her. And um, it's not so much that she values her a long time. She loves being in a union, but sometimes um, she's able to desensitize herself to the pressure that her relationship puts on her. And these different factors can, these different factors are what plays into people's perceptions of her when um, they're making negative criticisms of her. Okay. That makes sense. Um, it does. Yeah, makes sense. It does. One thing that you said in the beginning that stood out to me, and it kind of tied in towards the end, but you said she spends a lot of money. And my first thought was like legal fees. Um, and she said like her relationship kind of, you know, it can be a little bit clingy. Yes. I wanted to kind of segue into that relationship because I know like, when you're with someone who's on house arrest, it probably does get a little bit clingy because he can't go nowhere. So you ain't got no choice but to have him all up in your face all day. So I just wanted to get a little bit of insight into their relationship since that kind of came up during um, the last question. I got two questions for my audience. Okay. Have you all ever been on house arrest? Hit the one for yes and a two for no. If you've ever been on house arrest, hit a one for yes and a two for no. And also intuitively, when you think about Nicki Minaj's relationship, her marriage, do you feel like this is a marriage that you would want to be in? Because she spoke about it. Why are you shaking your head? You, you, you wouldn't want to be married to him? Because she said a lot of people would love to have a man like him. She said something to that effect. Right, you ain't never been loved by no, no man has ever loved you or something like that. I no, no, no. I don't want no relationship like that. I'm, you don't. Um. So my next question for you all is: Which you all want to be loved on by a husband like Nicki Minaj's husband? Because they've been to, they've been married for a long time now, with maybe like four or five years. And she is always singing his praises. And he has shown that he's incredibly loyal to her and that he um, really appreciates what she's been able to do for him. And she's very grateful for how, I mean, he's very grateful for how she's shown up in his life. So yes or no? Would you all want a husband like that? Um, Leah, I forgot your question. I didn't really, really ask the question before we segue into that um, portion of the reading. I'd like to say that that was a really nice, very PR way that you put their relationship. It was very cute. I see, <laughs> I see you using that crisis strategic skills. Yes, yes. So fuel my fire, take me higher. 